Hey guys, Shadow the Oblivious here with a long awaited pickups video. Holy heck. Took me quite the while to get this really big mother load of a deal done with my co worker, but uh, finally took care of it. Finally got it. Also, I have uh, a few things from a couple of thrift stores around here that I picked up as well. But uh, anyways, let's dive right in, shall we? Okay, first off, I wanted to get the stuff from the thrift stores out of the way. I, uh, for 30 bucks, I picked up a stack of PS1 games at uh, my local honey hole. Yep, not telling a soul the name of the place. You will never know. My dirty little secret. But, anyways, for nine PS1 games, I paid 30 bucks, basically three bucks a game. But, uh, let's dive right into that. They're all quality titles. I have... Tekken 2, there we are, complete in box, phenomenal shape, I have Tekken 3, complete, phenomenal shape. Odd World. Abe's Odyssey, complete, and, uh, well, the disc is, but, uh, yeah, phenomenal shape, complete. Next, we have Crash Team Racing, complete, phenomenal shape. Then we have Crash Bandicoot Warped, complete, black label, very great shape. And we have the original Tomb Raider, greatest hits, complete, phenomenal shape. And we have the original Rainbow Six, complete black label. And lastly, we have NFL Blitz, complete black label. And NFL Blitz 2001, complete black label. Sorry if you heard that noise, that was, uh, that was me getting a text message. But, uh, anyways, moving on to the, uh, next set from another thrift store. Okay, from another thrift store, the, uh, Poppin' Tags or Thrift Shop or whichever they call it, uh, I got a nice stack of, uh, 90s uh, comics, some uh, Batmans and some Spider-Mans, and a Fantastic Four, but uh, I got Penguin Tri Triumphant, ah, but uh, hopefully you can see that pretty well, hopefully there's not a whole lot of glare on it or anything, sorry if there's glare, but uh, very nice. Batman in Detective Comics, uh, issue 619. And this is uh, early August 90. But uh, there we are. Sorry for the glare, guys, if there's any glare. And then I have Batman in Detective Comics issue 620, late August. And 
And then I'm kind of bummed that it was only parts two and three of a three-parter, but uh, Batman, Dark Knight, Dark City, part two. And part three. Okay. And then lastly, we have uh, issue 123, November. But uh, Marvel team up Spider Man and Daredevil against Solar. And then another Marvel Comics group, Marvel Team Up, November number 99. Spider-Man and Machine Man against Baron Brimstone and the Sandman. There we are. Hopefully, uh, I'm trying not to have too much glare on it, but there we go. And uh, lastly... Acts of Vengeance, Fantastic Four, uh, number 335, I believe, uh, mid-December, uh, don't see a year on it, but there, that is, <laughs> there we are. And that does it for the uh, comics and for the pickups from thrift stores. Now, on to the big enchilada, the mother load, the big deal I was working on for like a couple of months with my uh, co-worker. So, let's just, uh, you know, dive right into that. Alrighty. Well, I wanted to start off with the main big, uh, you know, portion of it, which was a lot of Xbox games. So, without further ado, let's uh, dig on in here and uh, let's, uh, let's grab a stack to go through. I'll go through the sports related and or you know that type of stuff first but uh tony hawks pro skater 2x complete fairly nice shape just a little dirty as these were in a storage for a while but uh wwe raw 2 Complete, pretty nice shape. NFL Fever 2004, complete, pretty nice shape, except for a little dirty and stuff. NBA Ballers, complete, little bit of schmutz on it or whatever on the case. NHL 2005. Complete. Pretty darn good shape. And lastly, MX Unleashed. No manual and the receipt from the day it was bought up there in the corner. But it's in okay shape. I believe this was bought at, yes, this was bought at an EB Games before they were all fucking Game Stops. <laughs> but uh, moving on to the next stack here that I'm going to go through, I guess. Um, let's see. Yeah, I'll go through this. Marvel Nemesis, Rise of the Imperfects, complete, really nice shape. 
We have Legacy of Cain series, Blood Omen 2. Complete. Really nice shape, except for some, uh, well, see for yourself. Except for some uh, damage here from stickers and stuff on the back, if you can see that. Uh, yeah, it was like ripping the plastic and a little sticker damage down there. But uh, other than that, really great shape. Uh, we have Medal of Honor Rising Sun complete. Really good shape. We have Grand Theft Auto 3 complete and with a magazine with cheat codes. A little magazine uh, clipping or whatever. And the poster is in there, but the poster is a little damaged on one part of it. But it doesn't matter. Anyways, happy to add that to the collection. Now I have it on Xbox. Anyways, let's see. That's, uh, that does it for that. Moving on to the next stack of stuff. Uh, let's see. Let's uh, move this on down. We're actually getting into some of the better titles. Uh, but, uh, let's see. We have Street Racing Syndicate, SRS. No manual. Fairly good shape, though. We have The Sims. Complete. Fairly good shape. But that's not all. Because I took, the first time I opened that, I took a disc-only copy of The Sims 2 out of it, in fairly good shape. <laughs> yeah. We have an Xbox original launch title, Oddworld Munch's Odyssey, complete. Unfortunately, there's a little damage inside the case. The tab on the manual there is broken. Other than that, great shape. Also, looks to be a formal, former GameStop item, but uh, Robotech Battle Cry that comes with the first episode of the anime on a DVD, it says here on the front. And lo and behold, it's complete. And by the way, this DVD, pristine, amazing, like not a scratch or blemish on it. And normally, something extra like that would not be left intact in a freaking, you know, GameStop game. So, somebody really took care of this and made sure the customer got the complete item. Next, we have Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Complete. Really good shape. And then we have Enter the Matrix. Complete. Really good shape. And hidden in behind the manual is uh, some cheats written down on a piece of paper, I noticed. But uh, moving on to the next uh, set of stuff. And this is pretty much probably the final set of things in here. And that is Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic complete. 
really good shape. Just really dirty and it has sticker residue and stuff. Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2. Complete. Really great shape. Just a little dirty. Needs some cleaning on this thing. <laughs> and the last of the Star Wars games I got in this bundle. Uh, Star Wars Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. Complete. Even has the receipt from when it was purchased from, yeah, Best Buy in uh, Murrieta, California. <laughs> it was purchased along with Mars Attacks, Jawbreaker, and Predator for PS2. <laughs> But that's crazy. Anyways, next, the case is beat to shit, and it has no manual, but a Platinum Hits copy of Halo. Disc is in fairly good shape, but the case is, it's had it. It was a GameStop item. I'll need a replacement case for that. But, this is like the best of the bunch. The Halo 2 Limited Collector's Edition Steelbook. Complete, complete. And by that I mean, it has the manual, it has conversations from the universe, and the unused two-month free trial to Xbox Live. All in there. Look at the back of that. It's in really nice shape. Just a little dirty is all. Then, another awesome... Uh, this is a set of things right here, but X-Men Legends for Xbox. Complete, really great shape. And the exclusive Best Buy bonus, the making of X-Men Legends DVD. <laughs> and that's in really great shape too. But that does it for the Xbox games of this mother load. Next, we have a big box of different stuff that, uh, friggin', uh, well, let's just, uh, let's just say it's a lot of stuff and there is a complete system in there. It's just really dirty, and the two controllers that came with it are, well, you'll see. But, a big box of gaming goodness, and here is the complete system that I just mentioned. A complete N64, it is filthy as fuck all. And one first party Nintendo black controller. And the stick is really loose. <laughs> I may have to do the stick doctoring and get the GameCube style stick for it. And then we have one third party generic also with a shitty stick. Yeah. Ugh. Very dirty. Then we have two games. Not great titles, but uh, Penny Racers with a top label because these didn't come with N labels. Fucking Nintendo morons. And Kobe Bryant in NBA Courtside. Obviously a former thrift store item because there's a $4 sticker right there on it. <laughs> But, uh, 
Then we have some PS1 games. We have Spec Ops, Stealth Patrol, Complete, Black Label, not too bad a shape. We have, I know I said it previously, but I love me some Cabela's games. Uh, Cabela's Ultimate Deer Hunter, or Ultimate Deer Hunt, Open Season. Complete Black Label, formerly a GameStop item for 20 bucks. Then uh, we have Army Men, Green Rogue, Complete Black Label. And this was actually, yeah, I think that, yeah, that's the company that made its name, not the system that I'm thinking of. <laughs> but uh, anyways, and lastly, we have in a fucked case that I will need to get a replacement and it's going to be a pain in the butt because it's an official MLB game. So it has that sticker on it, but MLB 2005, former GameStop item. See, case fell off. It's complete, though, but the case is fucked. Okay. There we go. That does it for the games. Then we have not one... But two dead matte finish PS2 Slims. Very dirty. And we have two PS1 controllers. One analog dual shock. Very dirty. Gonna need to clean that very thoroughly. And one original which the cable right here is a little frayed, if you can see that. Yeah, so I don't know if that's going to work. And when I shake it, it kind of has a rattle, so it might not work. I'm not sure. Then we have the power cable for one of those slims. So if I can get one working out of those two, or maybe Frankenstein a working one. I have one complete system because I have also the AV cables in here somewhere for that. No, that's not it. Ah, here we are. I have a set of AV cables for PlayStation or PlayStation 2. There's just a bunch of wires in here now. There is a power cable and a AV cable set for an Xbox. Now I have an extra set for that particular system. And then we have another PS2 AV cable set. We have what looks like an Xbox 360, uh, yeah, it's an Xbox 360, like, Ethernet cable thing or whatever, or maybe it's the system link, I don't know. I don't know what the hell it is, but looks like it belongs to Xbox. Then we have, if I can get it separated from everything... We have a couple of USB uh, I believe these go directly into the power pack of the controller or whatever and charge it or convert it to a wired controller. I have two of them either way. Uh, next we have no, that's not what I'm looking for. New. 
Well, we just have a bunch of random cables in here, pretty much. Other than that, just a bunch of random RCA cables. But one extra breakaway cable for original Xbox. So that's pretty damn cool. But anyways, that is the end of that mother load of shit, my friends. And I managed to miss one item and forget to mention an item uh in one of those ps1 games from the uh mother load deal uh there was a disc only copy of something for ps2 so of course you know i take everything ps2 out of my pickups which there is a whole big box that is going in the next episode of the ps2 pilgrimage so keep an eye out for that but amongst that big box of ps2 games and stuff there was a disc only copy of tony hawk's pro skater 2 that i forgot to mention very good shape so that about wraps up everything, guys. Take it away, LTG. Great, Lance. More shit. Why are you gonna put it now? So, as I always say in all my shit, nerds, nerdettes, gamers, and weirdos of the web, game the fuck on and party the fuck on. Shadow the Oblivious, out. Lance, more fucking shit, man? <laughs> well, you did ask where I was going to put it all, right? Yeah, I did. <laughs> you going to move it? Clean it? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to fucking clean it up, dude. <laughs>